Hey, future Lincoln Lions, it's me, Miss Lofner, and I'm one of the school counselors here at Lincoln. We are super excited to have you with us today to learn all about the key things that make your middle school years really successful. So let's get started. In order to learn a little bit more about Lincoln, here's a short welcome video that you can watch for your viewing pleasure. Sit back, enjoy, and see if you can find any of your other elementary school friends that are a little bit older than you. Welcome to Lincoln Middle School. I'm Ryan Schlenkman, I'm the principal here at Lincoln, and we're really excited to have you join our community, have you join our school. Um, we're looking forward to a lot of really good and great stuff coming uh, out of this year and the next coming years. We're, we've got a lot of things that we offer our students um, in terms of after school activities, student-led clubs and organizations, um, athletics. Um, a, a staff that is really committed to each and individual student and making sure that every individual student is getting what they need so that they are able to be successful here in school. Um, we look forward to preparing our students for the next level, which is high school. Um, so we're just really excited to have you here, glad to have you join our family, and look forward to what's coming ahead. the teachers because not only do they help us with our work but they also help us have fun with doing our work and help us study and not get stressed over small things. My teacher would be Mr. Sensenay, a social studies teacher because instead of just giving us work and telling us this is what we have to do, he tries to help us by doing group projects so we can still socialize with friends and things like that instead of just being isolated from the rest of the fashion and working by ourselves. Miss Allen Cake, she's a science teacher. She loves doing hands-on learning. She doesn't like just writing down pieces of paper or just like doing book work. She loves doing experiments and stuff like that. But you have to be like mature to do that because she knows how it feels to just be like bored just sitting at a desk writing on pieces of paper. So she tries to make you more active. I love teaching at Lincoln Middle School because I get to prepare my students each and every day, getting them ready to be future leaders and getting them college and career ready. Our students are so motivated, come to school ready to learn. Um, I like how the teachers um, teach us that's their job, but um, I like how they are always there to help their students when there's a problem. My favorite teachers are Miss Miller, Miss Monsack, and Miss Milan because they're really good at making learning fun and not boring to students and they're always trying to do new activities to help us cope with some of the problems we're going to be dealing with. I am a learning support teacher here at Lincoln Middle School. I love, well, the students. Students are definitely my favorite part, and um, my position here is kind of unique. I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, so I get students in 6th grade and I get a full three years with them, so then it feels, you know, it's not just, you know, one year and by, I get to um, be with them for three years, so we kind of just feel like a little family in here, so it's nice to see them grow and change. Programs here that you can choose to be a part of include an excellent orchestra, band, there are a lot of sports that you can be a part of in 7th and 8th grade that are both here at Lincoln, or some of them actually meet up with other schools and meet at McCaskey. And there are also many more that are possible to choose from after school. There's a good environment here. Like, I have a lot of friends, pretty, like, almost everyone. The teachers are all very respectful. Lincoln does a good job with making sure there's not a lot of problems with between students. All the students are respectful to one another. What I like about Lincoln is it's such a welcoming and supportive environment. The staff and teachers here 
love their jobs and love the kids that we serve, and it shows. It, you feel it when you walk in the door. Lincoln is unique in that we have an incredibly diverse community. I learn things from my students that I wouldn't be able to learn if I were teaching somewhere else in the county. In addition to that, we have a lot of community partners that come in to our building and connect with the kids and families. Sixth graders, I would say like keep calm, like don't be all hyper energetic because like that's not gonna help you get through the year. Just be focused and not like be distracted by other things. Have fun, but not too much fun because sometimes you'll be distracted by that and not get things done. Don't get caught up in the drama because drama will be everywhere. That doesn't happen just in Lincoln, it happens everywhere. Most importantly, focus on school a lot and your life outside of school because that can also affect your life during school. questions or concerns or thoughts that you want to share, don't ever hesitate to come to my office. Um, if my door is open and I'm in here, I'm always available and ready to talk, free to talk to the students. Um, so bring any thoughts that you have, any needs that you have to me at any time. Curious who your middle school counselors are? Well, here we are. I'm Ms. Softner, and I'm on the right-hand side of the screen, and Ms. Coder is the other school counselor here at Lincoln. We're so excited to work with you. There are a lot of things to know about middle school. The first key thing is understanding your schedule. Your schedule tells you where to go and when to be there. It also lets you know the times you have to be there and what you need to have with you in order to be successful. Do you need your gym sneakers on a certain day? Or do you need your math book at a certain time? Your schedule is super important in order to be organized and responsible during your school day. Here's an example of a sixth grade schedule. If you are looking vertically at your schedule, then you will see that we have the time of day and also the period. So we go from period one all the way down to period 11. And then we have the time written on the schedule. And then if you look horizontally, you will see that we have day one through day six. So that might be a change for some of the elementary students not having class periods before. So for this example, this student is in section 6A. That means that there are sections 6A until 6H. So all sixth graders will have a different letter section assigned to them. Also this student for first period from 745 up until 859, they're going to be with their assigned homeroom teacher, Ms. Monsack. So they are going to be having class with her, which is Responsive Advisory Meeting RAM. That's a long extended homeroom where students are in the homeroom, they have their attendance taken, and then they also have different meetings every single day. Things like team building, they have circle time, they have um, time to learn how to solve conflicts together as a classroom and problem solve together. So it's a really inclusive time as the classroom to spend together in order to really get to know their peers. Also on the schedule, you will see something called UA. It starts at period three, and then it also returns to us at period five. So UA stands for Unified Arts. This is specific to middle schoolers, and this means that the student has gym, music, or art on certain days. So make sure that you understand your schedule, and if you ever have questions, you ask a teacher about it. 
something really important to know about middle school is communication and the ways in which we communicate. We communicate with our eyes, our ears, and our body. We can look at someone when we're talking and listening. We can listen with, to someone when we are talking and listening. And then we can also use our body to communicate. Communication is a word that is not always understood by everyone, but it's always asked, are you listening to me? As a middle schooler, we really need to work on understanding the meaning of communication and why it is so important. So we need to know why people are talking to us and what type of message they're trying to deliver. How and why we communicate is really important to other people. Are we only using social media? Are we using verbal communication or nonverbal communication? And how is our message being mixed up or misunderstood? And how are we going to fix that? There are a lot of people to help you with that if that becomes a concern of yours. So your body language is what people see in the way that you communicate. So how you use your words and your body to communicate is something that can be misunderstood. And in middle school, we work on that a lot with our students. Something else with communication that might be synonymous is drama. Drama is something that does not need to be an issue for you in middle school. So understand that there are people to help you lessen the drama and increase your productivity as a learner. Other things to know about middle school. The third thing, support. These people really help you increase your communication skills. There are many adults and web leaders here to support you throughout your school day to make sure you are the most successful link in line you can be. There's teachers, there's building assistants, we have our principals, we have our school-based therapists, the counselors, we have our school resource officer, Officer Gerhardt. We have our um, social worker and our attendance check-in, Mr. Schiffer. We have after-school programs and our secretaries. Make sure that while you are here, you find an adult and you work together to problem solve any sort of issue that you may be facing. These adults are here to help you every single day. key to middle school is more responsibility and understanding that you have more responsibility. Just know that coming from elementary to middle school, you're going to have a different grading system. You now are going to have letter grades. You also have the responsibility to understand your schedule. Students have the responsibility to maintain a safe locker with a lock on it and to visit their locker at appropriate times. Students also have increased homework assignments. They have um, to use cell phones at appropriate times. They also have to maintain their own personal hygiene. That is a part of our own natural development as a pre-adolescent and adolescent human being. So knowing that, you know what, it's time that I have to start using deodorant and taking care of myself is something that you will learn in health class. The fifth key to middle school is knowing that Lincoln has rules. Every school has rules in place and that is to keep us safe. Every student is expected to dress in school uniform. Every student is expected to attend school daily and every student is expected to wear their school ID. The school ID is part of the school uniform. The school uniform includes wearing navy or khaki pants and then either a white, light blue, or dark blue collared shirt. It's the exact same uniform that you've been wearing since elementary school if you have been a School District of Lancaster student. Just know that these are pretty easy expectations for you. The only thing that we're changing is that you get an ID now. We have three key words here at Lincoln. We want our students to be responsible, respectful, and safe. If you start showing us those behaviors, then you can earn some PBIS points and visit our school store and get some goodies. We hope to see you there. So here are some fun facts about middle school and Lincoln. Every single student is given a locker. No middle schoolers attend recess any longer. The start time for school is 7.35 a.m. Dismissal time is 2.45 p.m. There is increased responsibility as a middle schooler. Lincoln has web leaders. 
All students must wear a uniform. All students must wear an ID. There's going to be more homework. Your friendships are going to change. After school programs and clubs are available. Sports start for students in seventh grade. All students have iPads. Well, we really hope that you learned something about Lincoln and middle school life. It's not something to stress about. It's something to be excited for. Just know that you are going to be the first sixth graders ever to learn inside Lincoln's new edition. And we are so excited for that fact. We can't wait to see you in the fall. We hope that you can't wait to see us. Bye, new fifth grade, almost sixth grade friends.